Talk to me about the uh, European title. Oh, brother, man. Um, I never realized how much I could be linked to a title and how much my career could be interwoven with one. I remember the first night I got it, I was like, wow. First of all, I was a champion in the WWF. I'm a champion in the company I've watched, you know, pretty much my entire wrestling existence. And here I am listed with the guys like Triple H and Shawn Michaels and Bulldog and all the great European champions, and here I am. And now they're entrusting it to me. And I, Russo told me that night, the first night I got it from Triple H, and I'm beating Triple H for the title, by the way. The yeah. first time I got Triple H, the camera came on to me, and I held the belt, and I go, I'm the champ of Europe. Champ of Europe. Champ I remember. Europe. I remember. And, and Russo told me, he goes, he goes, that's the minute I knew you were a star. Because the camera got on you, and you kept it going, and turned it up even more. And that's when he's like, okay, let's go. And that's when the whole European run started happening. And, man, I mean, that's what – that title changed the trajectory of my career and my wrestling life. And it gave me credibility, not only inside the building, but outside the building. And from a, a third tier title that no one had wanted, that was my world championship. That was my NWA title. That was my, that was mine. And we, all those who got involved with the European title took pride in, in the fact that when the European title was on the line, you were probably going to see one of the better matches of the night. Because we were going to go bust our ass. And we, were, we weren't going to take a okay, third-tier title for who? This was We were fighting for the front-line title. This was our championship. So we all went out there every night and delivered. And there was no taking a night off because, you know, you've been to WWF house shows when they, they run the lineup down and they go, oh, in the first match, so-and-so. We would always take pride when they go, and for the European championship, and the crowd would pop. And you'd look around and go, they just pop for the Europe, just saying European title. <laughs> right. Which which we knew that was a affirmation that we were doing our job. So, I mean, I have nothing but great respect for the title and every one of the other competitors that I've ever been in the ring with competing for or against the European Championship. Talk to you about working with X-Pac because you guys, Jeez. you guys together made that title mean so much. Dude. I've, I've said this X himself. I said, you and I could have a five-star match inside of a phone booth. Like, <laughs> we just had that chemistry. I can't explain it. It's not like we rolled around each other and get we're really super – it's from the second we touched, we locked up the first time, there was an overall comfort between the two of us. And I don't care. He could tater me with a spin kick. It didn't matter. It was going to look good and we were going to work well. And he and I just had this – amazing chemistry and if people ask me who's my favorite opponent uh, or favorite match any match with x-pac involved in it can answer either one of those questions um just a, a blessing he's such a tremendous tremendous worker and the fact that he even took the time to have those matches with this young kid who was coming off the street basically um uh, I have nothing but respect for that man. And he knows that to this day. I mean, we've talked about it several times. I, I, owe, I owe a lot to him for just being that, that teacher to me in the ring. That's awesome. What was it like working with Triple H? Trip was a, a cerebral dude. And when you say cerebral assassin, that's the gimmick. But when you're putting a match together with him, he looks at things so next level, like stuff you don't even – think about until he brings it up and you're like how did I not see that like how did I not see that this placement or my back is this way how did I not see that so it was always a pleasure being in the ring with him because I got to be in the locker room with him to hear him put that stuff together and and I have always had very good interactions with him um, once again he was kind of to help put me over that first European title um, and that's something I can never take away so Great stuff. See, I'm like Switzerland. I get along with everybody. Like, I, 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 I'm very fortunate that I've got a good reputation in this business where I'm a likable guy and I, I went out there and proved it my work and people just, you know, I do my thing. I'm definitely like Switzerland. Neutral as hell. <laughs> what are your interactions with Vince like during this time? Um, only time I, I had a few interactions with him myself, but the most time was 
Ron Simmons dragging me and going, I need to talk to Vince. Come with me. Yes, sir. I'm not going to tell you no. So let's go. So I, you know, I would tag along. Well, Ron was teaching me how to talk to Vince. He was teaching me how to interact with Vince. But there's a certain, a certain demeanor, a certain way you have to do things. If not, Vince will, he'll, he'll be there, but he'll shut you out mentally. and just, okay, he'll yes you to death. There's a certain way to deal with Vince and Ron helped teach me that. And, you know, I've used that throughout the rest of my career, you know, in every office that I've been in and, and every situation I've been around that, that ultimate figure, I've used those, those teachers of Ron. He, he is constantly, was always teaching me every second of every day. He, he taught me the definition of being a professional was not just getting paid, but it was the way you conducted yourself, the manner in which you dressed and spoke and interaction with fans. And then at the end of the day, you get paid. Like, that's wow. I can't talk I can't speak enough wow. about Ron Simmons. Yeah. So I mean, if you wonder who the guy I am now because of wrestling, it's because Ron Simmons pulled me along. Yeah, that's that's not wrestling stuff, that's real life stuff. That's that's life. It's life. Yeah. yeah. Ron Ron's my dad. My he's my dad I never had that I always wanted. 